so so there is an electric field e within the conductor and due to this all these electrons they have a tendency to move towards the left but but they do not move in a steady stream as we would expect them to move because they they often keep on colliding and keep on changing their directions right so but they still have an average drift velocity of of vd right so vd like that so you can assume that they are moving without collision at a constant speed of vd okay now let us try to understand in within a time in a time time delta t okay so so i i first of all place myself here right i am an observer who's 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 stationed here and and i and i'm looking at the whole process from here right like that understand so 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 this is how i'm observing it and what happens is after a time delta t after a time delta t what happens let's see what happens after a time delta t i will find all the electrons so i i have assumed though though that is not the case i have assumed that all the electrons they are moving to the left without collision without collision with a with a velocity that is equal to vd so in a time delta t whatever has crossed here would have reached here as i started at t equal to 0 whatever crossed here would have reached here which is at a distance of vd delta t is it not the electron that was here at t equal to 0 that would have reached exactly at this point vd delta t away from this to the left of it okay so this is the first electron that passed so the last electron that passed me must be just here just before shutting down my stopping the clock it must be here that means all the electrons that are within this all these electrons all these electrons okay so so all these dots if they represent electrons that means everything that is filled from here till here in the length vd delta t and the area of cross section a okay if if this has an area of cross section a then everything that is filled between this has crossed me me here in time delta t do we understand that? now what is a current current i current i is nothing but current i is nothing but delta q upon upon delta t right rate of flow of charge now what is delta q q delta q all those electrons which are here now what is the volume let us start backward so the volume is a into vd into delta t is it not this is total volume now if i take n as the number of electrons so 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 let me take n n as the n as the number of electrons per unit volume if n is the number of electrons per unit volume then this is the total number of electrons because this is the volume by n so that is the total number of electrons now what is the charge in that this multiplied by e is the charge right and this divided by by delta t right that i'm i'm just talking about the magnitude right i'm just talking about the magnitude the amount of charge upon delta t so so if if that happens then this delta t cancels this delta t so i get i is equal to m e a v d you see that
Okay? Do we see that? Now what happens is, what happens is, let us say, let us, let us kind of, kind of take a, take a normal, uh, normal, say, say, a normal calculation. Like you have plugged in, say, a, say an iron of one kilowatt, one kilowatt in a 220 volt so thing so so you are drawing a current of uh, a current of uh, 5 amperes okay okay in a conductor that has an area of cross section say equal to 10 mm square okay so a is is that 10 mm square okay and and uh, a typical n for copper okay say a typical n for 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 copper is is uh, is, uh, is or for some metal is about about 10 to the power 29 per meter cube so it is about 10 to the power 29 per meter cube okay that is the number density and E, as we all know, is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So we should be able to calculate the 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 the, the VD. Okay, just try doing that. Okay? Just try calculating it. So what happens is is VD is equal to I upon N E A and I is equal to 5 divided by 10 to the power 29 per meter cube into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into what is the area of cross section? The area of cross section is is 10 into 10 to the power minus 6, right? And, and this comes out to this comes out to to about 3. Point 1 to 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter per second. Now, now that is how much? That is about about 3.125 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 2 to mm per second. Is it not? And that is about 0 0.03 mm per second. That slow. Why? Because that slower movement passing through this will do what? This will be able to pass so much of charge per unit time. Get that? Five coulomb of charge. And why is that happening? Because my because my my number of electrons is so much that even at this small speed, it is able to pass out so much of charge. Understand? It is a huge number of electrons. So, so you will very well understand, if this N goes down, if this N goes down, this VD has to compensate, if you want the same current. So it will have to travel faster. Understand? If this A becomes smaller, because, because as A becomes higher, the amount of electrons that is passing through becomes more. No? So, 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 so compared to this and this, the number of electrons Okay, that, that are passing through this, they are more, right? So what happens? So so as A goes down, VD has to go up. So what happens? And, and it has got interesting repercussions. So if suppose it is a non-uniform cross section, and let us say it tapers like that, okay, and, and whatever is the area of cross section here, here, compared to that, the area of cross section here is say 1 upon 10 a so what happens if the velocity here is 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 as we calculated it is equal to equal to about 0 0.03 mm per second here it will become 10 times that so here will start moving at 0.3 mm per second you understand same as in in fluid yeah, yeah. The same kind of thing is happening as will happen in fluids. A into V remains a constant. 
is it not a into v becomes a constant if 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 a into v becomes a constant if i and n are constants no in this case no no if, if it's a conductor if it's a series conductor that has got a very cross section so a into v becomes you know like what is is like i upon n e is it not and if i remains a constant n is the characteristic of the material e is a universal constant so a v remains a constant so you can say this is the continuity equation for electricity instead of the fluid mechanics right fluid dynamics it is the continuity equation for electricity so continuity continuity equation for electricity right get that 